So today we are constructing equilateral triangles and regular hexagons. So just a refresher, an equilateral triangle is a triangle where all three sides are the same length. All right. And a regular hexagon is a hexagon which has six sides and all six sides are the same length and also all the angles inside are the same angle measure. All right, and it turns out these two are related. So if you're able to make one, you can also make another. All right, so we're gonna construct this with a compass and straight edge. Here we go. To construct an equilateral triangle with a segment given to you as one of its sides, what we're gonna do is take our compass and set it up for the length of that segment. All right, so that's one side of the triangle. Now, I'm gonna take this distance and from here, I'm going to swing an arc that's the length of this segment up to try to figure out where this side's going to go. All right? So it's going to be, it's going to go just somewhere along this arc. Now, I'm going to take that same distance, and from the other side of the segment, I'll swing an arc also. And that'll be where the other side's going to go. And the place where those two arcs intersect is the one place where those two sides are going to meet up. All right, so if I connect this here, that's one side of my triangle that is that distance long. And I connect these two points right there, and there's the other side of my triangle. And notice, we now have an equilateral triangle, and all sides are the same length. All right, now we can use that same idea of constructing an equilateral triangle to construct a regular hexagon. Because here's how I think about a regular hexagon. If I think of an equilateral triangle and I just repeat that equilateral triangle six times, it's not a great drawing, but you can see it forms a hexagon. So what we're basically gonna do here to construct our regular hexagon is just make six triangles all around, okay? So I'm just gonna repeat what I did before. So start with the length of the segment and I'm gonna construct an equilateral triangle out of it. There you go, there's my first triangle. Okay, and what I wanna do here is I'm gonna make a whole bunch of other equilateral triangles with that point right there is gonna be the center of my hexagon so all my triangles are gonna be touching that point. Okay, and luckily, because they're all equilateral triangles and they're all the same, I don't have to change my compass setting. I could just keep it where it was at. All right, so here's my next equilateral triangle right here. And by the way, you don't have to necessarily draw in each triangle to make the hexagon, but I like to do it just for the visual sake of being able to see what's going on. All right, so here's my next equilateral triangle. All right. And the next one. And as you're doing this, you start to notice some patterns, right? You start to see right away, hey, wait a minute. This circle seems to be going all the way around the hexagon. Maybe that could have saved me some time. All right. But do you see it? all the way around. Okay, but assuming I just keep at my same technique here and keep making equilateral triangles, I'm almost done with the hexagon because look here, I could just connect these last two points here. Do you see the regular hexagon? Right here, okay? And like I said, if you kind of look for patterns, you can kind of see them, right? So once you did that first equilateral triangle, notice we could almost just kind of draw one circle all the way around the whole thing to kind of save ourselves some time to find it. But it's really easy to construct just repeatedly making the six same equilateral triangles. And there's our hexagon with the given segment as its side length. All right. So now let's get a little trickier here. This time I have a circle, 
and I want to construct a regular hexagon inscribed in the circle. What that means is we want the regular hexagon to fit exactly inside of this circle. Okay, so all of the points of that, all of the corners of the hexagon hit exactly on the edge of the circle, kind of like what we would have had here. Okay, so to construct that, we're basically going to use the radius of our circle, and what we're going to do is do the same thing we did here, use the radius as one side of a equilateral triangle, and then repeatedly make those equilateral triangles, and we'll have our hexagon. Okay, and it will be inscribed within the circle. So let's do that here. So here is the length of my radius. I'm going to repeat this distance right here. And there's my first equilateral triangle. Now again, for this side, I already have that edge. So now I can do this edge. And once you start doing this, you start realizing, wait a minute. The circle itself makes one of the arcs I need every single time, so maybe I don't need to actually draw it. Because look, every single time I'm making an equilateral triangle right here, when I set up my compass, I already have this arc made. So it actually is a little bit easier to construct an inscribed hexagon because the circle's already done for you. All right, so we've got half my hexagon done. Now, you can also think of it as, oh wait, it should be symmetrical, right? So if I really want to save time, I already have this side done, this line segment done. I'll just draw it all the way across. Same with this segment. And look what I've got. I've got my regular hexagon. All right. So there's a lot of symmetrical properties here that we can take advantage of because we know it's going to just be the exact same on top as it is on the bottom I just extended the line here we could have just repeatedly made those equilateral triangles if we wanted to also but I just took a little shortcut there and I'm done my regular hexagon fits exactly inside of the circle all right last thing we're going to do now we're going to construct an equilateral triangle inside of this circle so in other words if we have a circle that equilateral triangle is gonna fit exactly inside of the circle, like that, where each of these sides is the same length and each corner of the equilateral triangle touches the circle. Now the cool thing is we can use this diagram to do it because a hexagon has six corners, vertices, an equilateral triangle only has three. So what we could do is just connect every other point on the circle and it will automatically be an equilateral triangle. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here I'll do it in purple so you can see it well. So I'm gonna connect this point, skip this one, go to this one, skip this one, go to this one, and you see how I just picked every other point on the circle? So when I connect these, notice what I end up having. I have an equilateral triangle inscribed within that circle. And we know it's equilateral because we it's spaced out exactly the same. We know that because the hexagon was spaced out every one-sixth of the circle. Now we're just taking two of those, so it's one-third of the circle. We've got an equilateral triangle right there. Oh, notice we could have picked any two points, uh, any three points. We could have picked this one, this one, and this one also. Okay? So that's constructing equilateral triangles and hexagons. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your map and I will see you next time.